This is a ring homopolar motor. And when I add two brushes across the diameter, like this, it spins. Now why should it spin like that? There's no Newtonian action reaction. No Newton's third law. What's interesting about this experiment, we have a magnet, ring magnet floating there. If we put a big loop of copper wire just above it, and we have one little part of the copper wire go just over the magnet to run the current exactly the same way as before, except outside of the magnet rather than inside of it, and we turn on a lot of power, the magnet doesn't move. We got 15 volts and 18 amps DC, quite a lot of power. I can't get any closer, it'll cut this camera off and the magnet does not move. Therefore, to see the torque, the current has to go through the physical magnet, magnet itself and not outside of it. It's not just the magnetic field, there's another effect going on. Another mystery, if interestingly, we tape a black lead to the inside of the ring magnet and a red lead outside, and then we turn the current up to about 10 amps, one volt, 15 amps, there's absolutely no effect on rotation. You can't have the leads physically attached. If we tape just one lead to the inside like this permanently, and I'll come back so we'll shut off the camera with electrostatic forces, and attach another lead here, we get about 10 amps going through, but again, the motor does not move. Likewise, if we attach just one wire to the outside of the red one, take the black wire, and just flick it against the inside for about 10 or 20 volts, doesn't move. It's so hot I had to drop it. Therefore we've learned that for this homopolar motor, in order to make it spin, both wires have to be free and attached, and not just one.